Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tasca Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published around 39 YouTube videos covering beginners, intermediate and advanced level concepts. In terms of advanced level concepts, I have almost published 24 YouTube videos related to Tricentis Tasca automation. So till now we have worked on single user workspace. I'm going to publish three YouTube videos covering multi user workspace concept which we will use in the organizations for the real time projects. So this is our lesson 40 in terms of overall Tricent is Tosca automation concepts and then this is our lesson 25 in terms of advanced level concepts. So in this lesson I am going to teach you how can we create multi user workspace. Till now we worked on single user workspace but in your organization when you are working on real time project you will have n number of team members multiple team members that means these multi team members need to work on one single project by using Tricentis Tosca. That is where the multi user workspace comes into picture. And let us see the lesson objective. I am going to teach you how can we create multi user workspace by using SQLite DB. And then how can you perform checkout action on different objects of your Tricentis Tosca and let us understand the object checkout by other team members and how can you do check in all your changes in multi user workspace and how can you perform update all and get latest changes of all other team members into your workspace and how can you perform checkout tree and what are the difference between checkout at object level and checkout at tree level. So all these concepts I am going to explain you right now. So let us jump on to the Tricentis Tosca and let us first create multi user workspace. So to create the workspace you need to click on create new. So we already created single user workspace earlier. How? We selected none. The type of repository that we selected is none. In multi user workspace you need, not, you need to select a repository. So there are different types of workspaces that you can create. Multi user workspace can be created by using the database Oracle, MS SQL Server, DB2, right these are all the different database sources so basically to create multi user workspace you need to create a repository to create a repository you need to have a database instance so in the real time we use the different databases either organization can be used oracle sql server db2 whatever the database right we'll be selecting the corresponding database source if i am using oracle I will be selecting Oracle as my database source or Oracle as my type of repository. And you need to provide the schema which is optional. And then most important is connection string. You need to provide the connection string for the Oracle database for your organization and you can test the connection. And then you will be selecting the name of your workspace and click on OK. This will create a repository in Oracle database. But for a demo purpose, you need not to have the real time databases like Oracle SQL Server DB2. Instead, you can select SQLite, SQLite as your repository. So when you select SQLite as your repository, you need not to provide the connection string schema and test the connection. So it actually replicates the database. So without having a database itself, 
we can create multi-user workspace by using SQLite. Okay, so that's why I'm going to select the type of repository as SQLite, right? And then provide the name of your workspace. I'm going to name this as multi-user demo. Okay, and then if you are using any existing repository that you already created in your organization, then you are going to select use existing repository. But in my case, I'm going to create a new repository. I'm going to uncheck this option. And then you can create your workspace at any location that you want. For now, I'm going to leave the workspace in the same location. And then click on OK. So this creates your multi-user workspace without using database. So this concept only works for the demo purpose. But in real time, you will be selecting the actual database and then you will be providing the database connection, connection string. Okay. So once you create multi-user workspace, what are the different actions that we can perform? Let us go here. First, we just created multi-user workspace using SQLite DB. Now, as soon as you access your multi-user workspace, it will ask you to provide username and password. So for the first time, when you create by using SQLite, your username will be admin and password you can leave as blank. Click on login. As soon as you click on login, You'll be logging into your workspace that you created. So then go and access your project. So if you see, if you access your project, if you see here, all the folders that you're seeing under the project are highlighted in green color. What do you mean by that? That means all the objects under multi-user demo project are checked out by you. Okay. All these folders, objects are checked out by the user that we just now created. That means in your system, all these objects are checked out. That's why those are all you can see in green color okay and then so whenever you check out the object that particular object highlights in green color okay so then if you check out all these objects means that means any of your team member cannot work on any of these folders or objects this is access will be restricted by your team members. Your team members can view the structure, but they cannot work on any object. Okay. So let us do one thing. Let us check in all the objects within the project. Okay. Let's, you need to click on check in all. What it will do, it's going to check in all the objects under project. So now you can see the green symbol is no more available. That means all your projects are already checked in. All your folders and objects are checked in. Now your team members can start working on these particular folders. They can check out their own object, required object that you would like to work on. Let us say, let's see, now I want to check out the execution folder. So you're going to simply right click and select checkout option here or you can simply select the folder, click on checkout. As soon as you click on checkout, this particular execution folder shows you in green color. That means now you can start working on this folder. And then check in the changes. So before you go to the check in the changes, 
what about objects checked out by other team members? Let's assume if test case folder is checked out, checked out by other team member, team member, then what happens? If this folder is checked out by other team member, this particular symbol that what you are seeing here, right? You are seeing in green color. You will see the symbol, same symbol in red color. That means this test case folder is being checked out by other team member. If you are seeing red color symbol, that means you cannot work on this folder because your another team member is checked out. You understand, right? Now, let us say I want to check out the folder test case. Simply right click and click on check out. As soon as you click on check out, you can start working on it. Let me check in this now. I'll tell you what happens, what is the difference. So when I see now, when I right click on this test case folder, now I don't see any options. I don't see creation of test case. I don't see creation of folder. I don't see any options available because this test case folder is not checked out. Because this is your multi-user workspace, you need to check out the folder to start working on it. So as soon as I check out this folder, now you can see all the options. It is now green color. Right click now. Now I can create the folder. I can create my test case. I can create the library folders. So that means all the options that are available now. So now let me create a new test case. Test case 1. Let me create another test case. Sorry. Let me create another test case. Delete this folder. I want to create another test case. Test case 2. So I have created two test cases. Now I can start working on this particular test case. I can create test configurations. I can create duplicate folders. I can create if statements, whatever I want, I can do it. So here now, check in all. Let me check in all. Now let us understand checkout and difference between checkout and checkout tree. Okay. So let's say I want to check out this. I'm going to select this folder. I'm just selecting checkout. So this means this checks out only the folder that you selected. This is not checking out all the objects under this folder, right? You don't see green color symbol here. Let's say I want to perform checkout tree at test case level, test case folder. Now, if I see here, if I click on checkout tree, what happens? It checks out the folder and also it is going to check out the test cases under this folder. That means if you perform checkout tree, it checks out all the objects under the folder. If you perform checkout, that means it's going to check out the object, only object that you selected. It's not going to check out the children's of particular object. Okay, that's the difference between checkout and checkout tree. Okay, so now you understand how can you check in? So we created the test cases under test case folder and as soon as you check in the changes, now your other team members will see the newly created test cases. Whatever the changes, changes that you performed in your local system, you created the new test cases, test case 1 and test case 2. Earlier these test cases were not in the workspace or in the project but you created in your local system and then you simply clicked on check in all. Now the newly created test cases can be seen by other team members also. Okay so that is done and then so if as soon as you check in the newly created test cases if the newly created changes are the newly changes done by other team members. If you want to get those changes, what you need to do? You need to perform update all so that 
you can get all the latest changes done by your team members so generally whenever you come to office in the morning right you should not start working on the project without performing update all function because probably previous day lot of other team members might have done lot of changes to the project that's why in the morning you just need to perform update all as soon as i click on update all it brings you all the changes done by your team members for this particular project that means you will get all the latest changes to your local repository into your local system and then you can start checking out your corresponding module that you would like to work on let's say i updated all now i got all the changes done by your team members now you can simply right click and then perform checkout tree or checkout because these two test cases belongs to me i want to work on these two test cases i don't want to give any option to check out by other team members that's why as soon as i come for the day i am going to perform checkout tree and then start working on these test cases so at end of the day once i complete my changes i am going to perform check in all okay so you understand how can you check out objects at tree level at only single object level and how can you perform the changes whatever you did how can you perform the check in so that all the changes you have done at your local will be checked in so that all your team members can see all latest changes done by you and also we have seen how can you get the latest changes done by your other team members by using update all function and we have seen the difference between checkout tree and checkout function if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries hope you all understand the concepts of creating multi user workspace in any organization for your real time projects and you also understand how can you perform different multi user actions like check in all your changes to the workspace repository and then how can you check out any component of your tricentis tasca so that you can start working on the corresponding component or test case or module and then how can you use the action update all to get the latest changes done by your team members for your repository please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you